Okay, friends, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. I have Remy here helping me out today. Let me show you the front porch real fast. I have a really long front porch. And if you can see, I have nothing over here by the front door because I had moved everything down here in the corner pretty much because a certain company, I'm not gonna say who because I'm a little upset with them right now, has been, let's see, for the past, I don't know, six weeks now maybe a little longer it's supposed to be coming in solid in my front door in my storm door and they've come twice and something's been wrong with uh, the door that they're sending me so got a new door coming and hopefully i think they said october the 11th they're going to come back and install my front door and a gorgeous glass screen door so i'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit on the porch today and then come back once the door's in and do a whole new makeover on the porch but one thing i also got put in was this beautiful new lot fixture i love this little farmhouse look and that's my new lot fixture guys i think it's so so pretty Okay, so let's just take the time and get this tidied up, get this cleaned off real fast. I'm going to go ahead and get the water hose a hold of this before the sun comes out so it'll dry kind of quickly. And then we'll just add a little bit of fall touch here to the front door. And then once my new front door gets on here, we'll, we will start decorating this. Um, we will start decorating for Halloween. Okay, so what do you think, Remy? You ready to make over the front porch? You ready? Yeah, you ready? Okay, so let's get going, friends. Okay, we're first going to take everything off the front porch and I've sped it up for you guys so it'll go a little faster and while you're watching me do that, let me share with you guys that this video is a collaboration with my friend Tammy. Her uh, channel is called Loving My Home with Tammy. We met through, kind of through YouTube. She had a friend that worked with her at our local Hobby Lobby that told her about my channel on YouTube and she started watching my channel. We met at Hobby Lobby one day and so we have become really good friends. And now Tammy has started her own channel and I'd love for you guys to go over and check out her front porch makeover I'll have the link to her video down in my description box but Tammy, thank you so much for asking me to collaborate today in today's video. I appreciate you so much Friends go over show Tammy some love and let her know in the comment section that Robin sent you All right, now that everything's off the porch, we're gonna take the water hose, put it on the jet setting, and get the porch sprayed off really well. Now, I really needed to take the power washer today and get the porch power washed. However, I think one of the kids had the power washer today, so we're just gonna settle for the water hose, and we'll do power washing another time. So again, this is about 7 a.m. in the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse down the porch really well, um, and then I'll be, and then that'll be drying while I go through some tubs in my shed, and um, plant some plants in a couple of containers. And by the time we get through with that, hopefully this front porch will be good and dry. There is just so much that I need to do to this front porch, especially once I get my new front door in. I really need to decide what color I'm going to repaint these shutters. Um, these are actual, I think, original shutters to the house. And so I need to paint those, those little columns that you see there that are just old and... Um, old and rusty I need to decide if I'm just gonna paint those black but since those are also original to the house I kind of lock them and um, kind of a little vintage style here on the front porch or if I'm gonna box them in like with some wood so let me know in the comment section what you guys think about those columns there should I just um, get the rust off and paint those black or would you take like some wood and like kind of box them in like with two by fours and then maybe stain those so a couple of things I've got to decide on um, what color to paint the shutters and then what to do with those columns once I get my front door, my front door in. Okay, now we're going to move to the shed. I'm going to get all the doors open and I'm going to show you around the shed for a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, friends, for those of y'all that are new, or for those of y'all that have heard me say I keep all my extra stuff out of the shed, here's our shed. We've had it for, I think, a little over a year now. We haven't really done any shelving yet, as you can see, and we're also going to do maybe a little loft up here um, that will help me store all of my seasonal items since I have so much now. When I started YouTube four years ago, I and by no means, I might have had just like four tubs. So, because I've been on YouTube for four years now, and since I'm 80% of a decorator, channel this is why I have so much stuff now this year I did not go through my stuff and kind of purge I'm going to do that the next season though to get rid of some of this stuff but anyway so what I kind of do is keep out so since we're in fall right now I keep these tubs out and kind of work out from these to work from these tubs so like right here this is Halloween stuff that I'll sit out eventually so I just kind of leave these tubs out um, so I can work from them. So let me know at Christmas time if you'd be interested in me doing like a plan with me and go through these Christmas tubs and see what all I have, what all I'm going to use, and what all I need to buy. Let me know in the comment section if you'd be interested in a plan with me Christmas video. Okay, so here's just a few things I'm going to add. Since it's not really Halloween time yet, I'm not going to do too much. Just a little bit of fall. I'll, be, I'll reuse this rug here, this Hey There Pumpkin. I have a rug to go underneath it to kind of layer it. That is a new um, door wreath. I've got to fluff that out just a little bit. And I've had this little elf pumpkin and this pumpkin for some time now. And this sweet little sign here. This was an indoor sign at one time. And I just didn't have anywhere to put it. So now it's an outdoor sign and this fall sign. So, lots of cute signs to go out on the porch. Derek got me this pillow last year and I didn't get to use it. So, I think I'm going to use this on my bench this year. Isn't that sweet? Fall, sweet, fall. I love doing orange on the front porch. It shows up really well. And then I may end up using these two pillows or these may go on the back deck when I start doing the back deck. So, just a few things I pulled out to decorate the front porch with. Before I start doing my pots that I want to put on the front porch, let me show you a few things that I picked up from, I think these are mainly came from Home Depot. If you saw my flower bed video, you would have saw where I picked these up to put in, um, like this is a new pot right here. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of create a little vignette with all these plants that I've picked up. I love creating, creating vignettes inside the house and outside when it comes to my plants. And look at this beautiful mum, y'all. So these are the few plants that I'm going to pot and put on the front porch to add a little bit more of a cozy and inviting feeling on the front porch. So let's get busy potting up some plants. Okay, so let's real quickly make a couple of vignettes. One in this little whiskey barrel. This is new, I got it from Home Depot. And then this one I've had for a while. So let's create some vignettes using these little plants that I've picked up. Okay, so for this big pot, let's do the scenario where you have a thriller, which will be the mum. And then you're going to have a filler, which is going to be maybe this one, these, and then a spiller, which is going to be this beautiful deep maroon, deep plum potato plant. That'll be your spiller. So as it grows, it'll kind of spill over. So that's kind of the scenario that you should do in a big pot. And this little one, we're just going to have to do just a couple of plants in this one because it's kind of small. But this one should be fun to do. So let's go ahead and start with this big one real fast. how slowly I was opening up that umbrella <laughs> oh, goodness. a few years back I saw something on Facebook where a lady had opened up her umbrella on her porch and there was like a snake in the very top of it and y'all ever since then I have just had this phobia and when I open up that patio umbrella that there is going to be a snake in there just crazy we, we, I, we've never really seen a lot of snakes here at the house but that has stuck with me and I'm always real careful <laughs> when I open that up so I know I'm crazy like that half the time okay so now we're just going to start with just putting some soil in the bottom of this pot. We'll put our mum in first and then we'll surround it with some um, filler and then of course one of our spillers will be that beautiful potato plant. So I usually like to break up the, the ball of the plant first so that the roots can start um, kind of expanding a little easier. So some of these, um, the ball of the plant, the root, the ball, root ball was very big. So you'll see me kind of tear off some of the root ball and set it aside. Um, because I really don't have that much room in this bucket so you'll see me do that on a couple of the plants but you know, it was just a beautiful beautiful 
weekend. Um, now it's probably about, I don't know, 7.30 now, 7.45, and it's still about 55 degrees here in Texas on this morning, and that is wonderful for us because it has been so, so hot. Um, there was a time where it would be, you know, 90 degrees when we go to bed, and during the night it would only get maybe down to like 85, so it never would really cool off for several months here in Texas. It was so, so hot. I did have a few plants survive, as you see behind me there um, on the deck. I can't believe it, but they survived the Texas sun, so we'll do the deck in a few weeks and get it kind of spruced up for Halloween. All right, so let's continue to fill up this bucket with these gorgeous plants. I love the way it turned out. And guys, if y'all have any questions about what I'm doing here, just leave me a comment in the comment section. Maybe if you're new to um, plants outside and just want to create your own um, vignette of plants for your front porch. I'm not a master gardener by any means, but I will try to answer any questions that you guys have. Okay, now that the first pot is complete, let's work on this little one. Uh, you can see Derek in the background working on the pool. He takes such great pride in that pool. It's not fancy whatsoever, but we do thoroughly enjoy that pool. Uh, we've had it for, gosh, oh, I think this is maybe our sixth summer to have this pool. So, no, it's not the same pool. Um, the first, I think we had the first one for like three years. It somehow got a little hole in it somewhere, and we had to get a new one. But it's pretty much the same pool, just that makes sense just a new one <laughs> but uh, it's a perfect size for our backyard and for our grandkids um okay so as i'm doing this little second pot let me show you or let me yeah let me insert a picture real quickly here and you can see the names of each plant that i'm using just in case you're interested and wanting to run out and buy your own plants Okay, this first plant is a Crown Jewel Colas, and it's the plant right there to the right. It's the plant that I bought the big flat of all of them that I kind of used as my filler. And the plant that I'm planting now is called the Petra Croton. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I also bought some large ones of those to put in my flower bed. I think that is the perfect fall plant. The plant that I'm putting in now that I bought for my spiller is actually a sweet potato vine, and they call this color black. It actually comes in a really pretty green too. These are the best plants. They're very hardy, they're very hard to kill. And the great thing about them is you can just kind of pinch off a, um, a little bit of it and stick it in the ground and it will root. So I just love that about these plants. And then this last plant, which is my favorite plant that I picked up, I'm not even gonna try to say the name of it, I'll put it here on the screen, but it is a cinnamon color and it is absolutely beautiful. All right, so I think that's pretty much all the plants that I put here in my containers. Of course, that one um, burgundy mum that I put in that big container, I think that mum is absolutely gorgeous. I did get a couple more of those and put them in my flower beds. If you missed my flower bed video, I've got another one coming out in a few weeks, but my part one of my flower beds, I'll link that below in the uh, description box. So let's give these a quick watering, and then I've got just a couple of more tours to be done before we start decorating the front porch. I have three bird feeders out in my yard and pretty much every weekend we have to get out and fill them up. Uh, I try to wait till JD's here so he can help me fill them up but he wasn't here today so we are just going to get them filled up and make the birds and the squirrels happy. I'll show you a quick picture too. As soon as I get these bird feeders pretty much full the birds are already coming to feed this morning. Okay so we'll get these bird feeders um, full and then I've got to go in and wash a couple of pumpkins that I bought for the front porch.
And friends, if you've never put a bird feeder out in your yard before, maybe on your porch, I would greatly encourage you to do that. It just brings me such joy to see those birds feeding in the morning, in the afternoon, and the grandkids really enjoy it too. So, okay, now we're going to stop for a second. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have never ever washed my pumpkins before putting them on the front porch but um, since seeing all my friends that now do that that wash their pumpkins and put them out that say that they last a little longer they don't start rotting as quickly I'm just gonna give it a try I never thought it would really work but um, these white pumpkins are so so pretty and they did have um, they were pretty dirty so I thought this is gonna be the perfect time to wash these off real good and then we're gonna put them on the front porch and just kind of test it out and see if they do last a little longer let me know in the comment section are you someone that you've always washed pumpkins or you don't believe that um, scenario works either let me know in the comment section what you think about washing pumpkins before you use those on your front porch Okay friends, it's been about two hours so I've been working in the shed and planting those plants and I think it's pretty much dry. There's a little bit of wet in the corner there but I think it's dry enough we can go ahead and maybe put some fall decor here and get it a little bit fancied up. Okay, so we're gonna start here to the right of the porch. Uh, as you can see, my porch is really long, so I try to kind of decorate it in sections. I usually put something here in this corner, and then I've got these chairs here by the window, and then I'll go decorate in front of the door. So kind of three different sections here on my porch. Now today, I'm gonna to decorate this porch very, very simple. Um, I'm just gonna add a few fall decorations, just enough to say that I did. And then I'll really spruce it up, add lots of pumpkins, add lots of fun stuff for Halloween, and hopefully a week or two when um, Lowe's comes and installs my front door and my screen door. So today's video, as far as decor, it's gonna be very simple, guys. But I will, like I said, make it really fun and festive for Halloween, for the grandkids and for the trick-or-treaters, couple of weeks so all I did there in that little corner is I used that little white chair I love that little wooden chair I got it from of course my friend Charlotte's trade days several years back I love the little chippy look to it I just added that gorgeous mum and then that little welcome sign that I got from the Target dollar section and here by these two chairs I'm just gonna keep it very simple now that little white table that you see there it's seen better days all the paints coming off of it I may black, uh, spray paint it black and maybe use it somewhere but I do have a really pretty pretty table to add there and um, I've got a collaboration with the company that has sent me a table for my outside to go on the porch and so that will most likely go there between those chairs but for today's purposes we're just going to stick with this little white table and uh, I'm just going to add this pretty little pillow I just love this this actually came from the dollar section at, at Target several years back but it's a perfect fall pillow to go here on the porch okay so now this area is pretty much complete um, I'll give you a little after start real fast and then we'll move down uh, in front of the door. Okay, here's a quick shot of my front door area. Let's work on that real quickly. Um, you see this little wooden, um, I don't know what you want to call this, this little wooden piece right here. I used to have this above my fireplace, and I eventually just moved it out here on the front porch, and I love hanging something there. And y'all, this sign, advice from a pumpkin, always dream big, be well-rounded, grow with it, carve out a good life, have a thick skin, and enjoy the sunshine. It is absolutely precious. I just adore this picture, or this sign, whatever you want to call it, but I think it's perfect here on the porch. This is my second year to use this sign out here on the porch.
Okay, now let's add a few things to this little bench area right here. This gorgeous bench came from a park, I believe in Colorado. If you've been around for a while, you know that one of my best friends, Charlotte, her and her husband are on a trade days here in our little hometown. And they go on antiquing shops every now and then. She brought that um, bench back. It was white. I painted it black. And I think it's the perfect touch here on my porch. Okay, this wreath came from Amazon. I actually showed this wreath back in one of my home decor hauls back from Falls first started and so I'm just going to spruce it up really fast and I'm going to add this adorable welcome wooden sign that also came from Amazon. Okay, now to complete this area, I'm going to add this gorgeous jute rug. There's a story behind this rug. This came from Target. I actually got it to go inside the door um, in the kitchen right there as you walk in the door. However, it was too thick. And so when my door opened, it kind of pushed the rug away. So I couldn't use it inside the house. So I thought I'll just bring it out here and add a little layered look here to the front porch. And I think topped off with this cute little Hello Pumpkin doormat looks really good here by the front door. Okay, I'm going to add my last white pumpkin. I think these pumpkins look really good here. Also by the front door, I'm going to add an adorable fall sweet fall pillow that you saw earlier. I think because it's real long, it looks really good on my bench. And one more plant's going to go back beside the bench and then we're going to call it a day. Okay, friends, that's pretty much all I'm going to do here today on the front porch. Be sure before you leave today to hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell notification button so that when I post my Halloween front porch video in a few days, YouTube will notify you the moment that I upload that video. I appreciate you staying to the end. If you're still here, if you can find it, leave me a pumpkin emoji in the comment section. Um, don't forget to go over and check out Tammy's channel. I've got a link below to her front porch video also. You'll love her home. It's a cute little country cozy home and you'll love Tammy's sweet little personalities. So be sure to go over, check out Tammy's channel, and let her know in the comment section that Robin sent you. I'd greatly appreciate it, friends. If you happen to be new to my channel today, I would love it if you'd leave me maybe where you're from, your name in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. I also have an Instagram account. You can find me over on that platform at Robin Lane Low, the same name as my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, appreciate you so, so much. Um, we've almost hit that 10,000 mark and it's all because of my wonderful returning friends that come back each and every week to watch my videos. Okay, friends, thank you so much for spending your precious time with me today and I'll I'll see you in the next one. Bye.